everyone, it's Yvonne. I'm making a little intro for my footage of when George came to visit and we went thrifting all day. That was Friday, right? And I promised to film, but when I put it all together, it was like 10 minutes. So I was like, oh no, I did it again. You guys, it's just, you know, when somebody comes to visit, I don't know, it was just fun to thrift with him. And I just kind of, you know, watched him film, listened to what he was saying, you know, offered to help if he needed help filming. And so I ended up with like 10 minutes <laughs> out of four thrift stores. So make this little intro to put in and here's the 10 minutes. And when it's over, I'll come back and we'll look at um, what I bought when I was with George, okay? So we'll do that. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, you guys, George made it. Yes, I'm so proud of him. Um, I was gonna spill some tea and I was gonna be like, George, I think you speed, because he got here so fast, but he swears he didn't. He swears he drives like a, would you say a- A little old man in a van. A little old man in a van, <laughs> he says. <laughs> so, but he just got lucky. There was just no traffic. So he's here. We're at the Goodwill. We're going to do the housekeeping first. Remember the little box, the little booby prize box that we talked about last night. Just in case, this is the one day my thrift stores suck. So, um, you know, Yvonne has promised me that it's going to be amazing in the thrift stores. No, she really didn't. But, uh, I got to say, I've done thrifting in Colorado before. And by the way, look at the back of her screen here. That is so cool. It's like one of those old. Um, Oh, those sand toys when we were kids. That's yeah, just awesome. That's a little juvenile, but whatever. It's oh, I cute. love it. I think it's great. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I have shopped in Denver area thrifts before, and I've got to say, they are awesome up there. And yeah. so, and you know, Colorado Springs is a military town, so people move in and out, and usually that means they've been interesting other places. And so I'd say the chances are good. I'm really looking forward to it. And besides which, it'll be fun no matter what. <laughs> oh, thank you, George. And notice what George is wearing. The t-shirt from Brass Armadillo when he was when I met him up in Denver. Okay, so George. Um Okay, <laughs> let me start here. Just in case everything goes wrong today. <laughs> there's a few things I picked out just the other week, and then there's some things I was saving. Um just in case it goes bad if nothing else this will help pay for i don't know a hotel room or a ga or gas or something oh my gosh that is so nice of you, yeah, you, I, are you welcome. Know, we're all at our own risk when we're uh, thrifting and reselling so you did not have to do that but that is so kind and i'm not surprised because you're a really nice person thank you i try to be a good hostess and then um you started selling more on ebay so i i gave you a variety of my ebay branded boxes that i get oh, free so that's great you know it's so funny how little tiny boxes are actually the hardest thing for me to find now that i need them okay. so yeah that's the best <laughs> gift of all <laughs> so i you know we I'm get that coupon um so you guys let me show george a couple of these things real quick and then i'm going to hit him up for some free appraisal i know I'm, let's butter him up first and then we talked about this yesterday got couple items we're going to try to get some free advice out of George. Is that okay? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? You brought me presents and lunch and boxes. I mean, my gosh, I think I owe you more than that. But yeah, that's awfully nice and I'll do it. Um, I, I, you picked a good time to do this because I was on the road and couldn't stop and watch your video. So I, I was completely unaware of all of this. I just went live last night. It was just, did a live haul. It was like three, two hours of just us chatting and going over stuff. Okay, you guys. So, I'll see you in a few minutes. We're going to go over this stuff and then we're going to go in and get started. Okay? So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, you guys. I'm such a good hostess. I'm at my favorite Goodwill. I'm letting George go first at my favorite wall. <laughs> so that's awesome. <laughs> but I picked up some things. Yeah, I picked up a few cool, cool things, right? Oh. I want to shout out to Jocelyn while George is looking. So three times now at Finders and Keepers, we've seen her pick up a mug with this on it. And I just wanted to shout out to her. Look at this face. Yay. 1986. Um, I can't read the rest of it, but I'm going to get that. I can't, I don't think she ever got the mug. I'm going to tell her to get that mug. Okay. So George is having at it. I'm going to give him his first dibs and then I'm going to go in too. Thrift store number two. Bye, you guys. We'll see you in a minute. 
Here comes George. I'm gonna show him something. When he left, I had a Hager in my hand. I'm gonna go tell him I traded the Hager for this. Haha, <laughs> see what he thinks. And I've messaged Misty, Drifter Junker Treasure Hunter, about this. She taught us about Susan Paley in a video a couple weeks ago, and so this is the first one I found. But the one she had was worth a lot of money. This one only comes out at about 10 to 12, so I just messaged her, we'll see what she says. Hey, George. Yes. I traded out the Hager. Ooh, <laughs> that's fun. Look at her. Yes, that's better purchase than the Hager, even though she's twelve ninety nine. Oh, and she's I great. I haven't even bothered to determine whether she's old or new. That's she's not cool. that old, but it really kind of doesn't matter because of the price and the shape. She's going to be something someone would want for, for fun, for novelty, for a boudoir. And you do jewelry in your showcase, right? No, because no. I have my doors off. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say she'd be great to hang necklaces on in a display. She'll probably go on eBay and look, she's got the gold flex in it. Yes, something. exactly. Yeah, and they have to use actual uh, gold leaf to get that, so. Uh -oh. And she's got a little bit of ombre color going on. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so that's a yes, and then we'll wait and see what Misty says about the Susan Paley. It could be that that's Susan Paley for dance which is a company that's been around. You can find vintage dance up to now. Um, they're still, no, they quit at night. I think Let me get back to you on I that. I think they're done. I, I can't think remember. they just recently, like 2011. I don't know. Let I me get back to you I think they stopped recently. We'll, we'll look. But it could be that it's her original line, not a, you know, a collab um, that is the high money stuff. So let me see what Misty says. Hey, you guys, I'm back. So um, I added an owl, yeah. But anyways, George is filming some cool stuff, so you know what, we'll just watch it on his video, okay? He's, he's going to tell us about the typewriter. We spotted this awesome green chair, so we'll just watch his video and let him tell us about it. But I also sent him over to do, film this. Hang on. Look at that gold Naga hide massage chair. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to hear about that. Hi, you guys. Well, I got all my goodies packed away safely. George is right there, packing up his van. We're gonna take a break. I packed us a lunch because I'm not eating at restaurants yet. It's about five o'clock. The sun's starting to go down past the mountains. But um, we are going to, uh, George is warming up. He's putting the jacket on. <laughs> I packed us a little lunch in this cooler. So we're gonna uh, fuel up. We're both noticing that we're getting a little slow in the speech and whatever we've been having so much fun so i popped us some uh you know fruits and vegetables i'm i'm mostly vegan uh he's vegetarian and gluten-free so you know <laughs> all right you guys so we're gonna have a snack and we're gonna head off to two more we'll see you in a little bit oh my gosh did i even film this is thrift store number three. <laughs> Did I even film? Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I got some cute stuff, though. And George found me a couple of cute things. He bought something awesome, and you'll see it in his video. Oh, my gosh, he bought something so cool. Anyways, we still have some time. So, we are on to thrift store number four. It's dark already, but, you know, we're hanging pretty tough, right? <laughs> For Gen X. So, Arc Thrift Store, just the next block over from the Goodwill we just left, and I promised to film something this time. All right, you guys, I'll see you inside. Bye-bye. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed at least that 10 minutes. George did a lot of filming, and he's going to put it together. I believe he's going to put it together with when I met him up in Denver last month. So... I don't know when that will be, but hopefully I look forward to seeing it myself. So because he really talked about some cool stuff, you guys, it's going to be fun. Anyway, so since I only had 10 minutes, as promised, we'll just do a haul video out of order. I'm a haul behind. We'll do that live sometime Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Let's do this one to add to this and keep it complete. Okay. So yes. We did not make it to the antique mall. We were having so much fun and, you know, we were chatting, 
to, you know, like personal chatting. So that was fun. So it took a little longer at each thrift store than I kind of calculated because we didn't always stay exactly focused. I did stay out of the clothing department though, except for when we looked at rounder tops because those can be gold mines. But, um, and then we took a little late lunch, early dinner break about five o'clock just when the sun was going down. And we took some time to kind of chat and get to know each other more on a personal level again. So that was really great. George is a great guy, you guys, seriously. He is a great guy, okay? So, this is what I picked out. And oh, next visit, we'll try to hit um, the antique malls. But he really wanted to check out my thrift stores. You know, I have over 35 thrift stores in my medium-sized town so we only hit four of them i kept them you know on a main thoroughway we, we just stayed on academy which is right comes right off the highway at you know where the air force academy is so um there's plenty more to do if he ever wants to come back and i'm sure he will i'm sure he will he had a good time he said so and he found some great stuff cannot wait for you guys to see he found some great stuff although his van was loaded it was loaded but anyways Okay, so let's start here and get this off. Another Raku. Oh, I do want to tell you, I gave George first dibs on everything. Definitely first dibs. And you saw, um, we did go through the consolation box, which we didn't need. I think he filmed the appraisal that he gave me. So you'll see those items on his, the items I brought and asked him to please, you know, kind of look these over. He had seen them in a photo, but he hadn't really touched them. And But he gave me, you guys, wait till you see that. His depth of knowledge on that fish plate, on how he really kind of fine tuned my lead to follow was incredible. You're going to enjoy that. Um, Let's see, what else? I gave him some eBay branded boxes because I get so many. Um, I get a lot of eBay swag and then plus I use my coupon, you know. I, this is my second year as an eBay seller diversity advocate, although because of the pandemic, we really didn't do anything. So I don't know if I'll get a third year or if they're even gonna continue it, who knows. But anyway, so I get a little extra swag for doing that volunteer work to help people, you know, onboard them and acclimate them into um, eBay is kind of what I focus on. So, okay, and I gave him a good lunch. I think I mentioned George was vegetarian and gluten-free. So we had, um, I just packed fruits and vegetables and some yummy drinks. Okay, so another Raku vase. This one is $6.99. I did pay the full $6.99 for it, but it's a rather large one. And this one has nice thick walls, so I won't be afraid to put this one on eBay as well and ship it. But a uh, nice Raku piece. It's not, I won't say it's the prettiest one I've ever had, but it's nice. I don't know if you can see the nice oil spill kind of look on this Raku piece. I didn't even peel it off to see who signed it. It doesn't really matter. Raku is very hot again right now. And the process is not an easy one. So the value is staying pretty, you know, up there pretty well. And um, I kept one for myself. It was a thinner one that I, and from a local artist that I, didn't really want to ship. I didn't think it would make it because it was a little thin and and I put it up there but I cleaning it I broke it. I was so sad. So I've got about four or five ones in my showcase, a couple on eBay or waiting to be on eBay, but I'm going to pick another one to keep for myself pretty soon. I might pick from this batch. So this size, I'm probably gonna put this around 40 or 50. Thank goodness it's nice thick walls. Um a very affordable Hager, $249. I got two Hagers. I'll show you the other one. Very affordable. I'm using my phone today down in the family room, so I don't know if you can see if this is going to focus. I'm not that close. Hang on. Let me see. Okay, so a nice Hager piece. Um, it still has the Hager, a newer Hager, Hager um, label on it. Um, $249. So I like this one. And let me grab the other one. Let me find the other one. This one's, this one's better. Yes, this one I'd say is better. This one still has the Hager tag on it too. This one's a little older. How much was it originally? Hang on, it's got the original tag on it too, the store that it was at. This one doesn't have the barcode tag. Let's see what store. Old America. 
$12.99 and it has the, an older Hager sticker and the number H987, probably a style number. So I paid $2.99 for this one. It's got, let me see something. Is that the same size? This is the same size little green felt sticker, so probably the same person. But I think this one will do better, right? That pattern. I hope you guys can see it. So that was nice. A couple Hager. Not, you know, real super epic Hager, but nice ones with a little bit of, you know, style in them. So, and then I'm going to put it back in. Bear with me, you guys. I'll try to cut some, edit some of this out. Oh, another raccoon. This one might be the one I can keep. I don't know. It's kind of unique though. Another raccoon. This one might be the one I keep, but I don't know. It's kind of unique. It's got cutouts. Um, what did I pay for it? $3.99. This one's signed by Heidi. That's a nice one. I'm going to stand up for a minute. That's nice, right? Yeah. Hmm. That would look good with the candle in it too. Gosh. I don't know. I'll make a decision. This might be the one I keep. Maybe so. Okay. <laughs> Let's put that back in there where it's safe. And this is a very unique, this was at the Ark. And George agreed too that, you know, that we may play Hades trying to figure out who made it. But um, it doesn't have your typical generic oriental stamp on it I'll show you in a moment so we're hoping and because of the high quality and high style we're hoping that I find out that it's like a pretty good artist and you know someone had brought it with them you know that it wasn't made for mass um, like mass produced I'm gonna stand up again because I, I want to come in close this is just really nice some kind of enameled ceramic. It almost makes you think, want to think it's glass. It's really pretty. I'm going to tap it for you guys. Wait a minute. Okay, and the mic's down there and some gold flex. And I'll show you just some off chance that somebody's like, oh, I know what that is. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm showing it the right direction. But I will work on this. I think this is a really nice um, art object and I, I'm hoping I get a surprise. So I'll follow up with you guys. It'll probably take me a couple weeks to get around to like checking this one out. Either way, for $1.99, <laughs> it came home with me, for sure. I did give George dibs on it, but he was pretty happy with what he had found. Oh, and his van was full. I told him, leave room in your van, <laughs> but he, he picked up some cool stuff he's going to show us, you know, as, in his travels. Um, this by Celebrity, I paid a little more for this, $4.99, only because it is vintage, and most of them are usually cracked or chipped. Did I say it's by Celebrity? This is by Celebrity, and I have other pieces, so I'm getting quite a set of pieces that are not chipped. This is acrylic. I'm going to run my fingernails so you guys can see that it's all like, um, like beveled in, starburst beveled. But I've got a tissue holder and a big canister, a couple other items upstairs in my dressing room I was just going to keep for myself because I thought it was cool. You know, it's kind of like 50s, 60s cool. I can't remember. George did give me the date on when this was the most popular. You guys won't be able to see that, but it says celebrity in there. And hopefully it will be in his video or I'll just Google it and remind myself. But um, these are super cool. I've seen some other YouTuber thrifters that are kind of in the same category um, get some of these too. George has some himself and I think it was Jeffrey. I think Jeffrey has a couple pieces. Yeah, so that's why I paid $5. I would have rather paid like, you know, $2.99 is typically what I find this kind of stuff for. But these are real pretty. If you could see the light on it, even though it's just acrylic or some kind of lucite, it still gives a prismatic effect. Yes, it does. What else is in here? Oh, <laughs> you guys, 
most of you watch Jocelyn too, right? Jocelyn and Drew, crazy lamp lady. So for the last few visits, is it to Finders Keepers? I think so. The last few visits to Finders Keepers, she's been like hemming and hawing over a mug that attracts her. It's very cool. I found a little vase. So I've always, won I've always said, buy the mug, buy the mug. You know, I'm hollering at the TV <laughs> like some of us do, right? Um, and this is 19... Made in Taiwan, is that what it says? No, made in Japan. It says FIDA, copyright, 1986, made in Japan. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I'm gonna put my jacket on, the sun went down. Anyways, um, I need to shoot her a picture of this because I can't remember if she ever bought that mug or not. But I need to shoot her a picture of that little vase. But I love that and I keep, I was, I was always saying, Jocelyn, buy the mug, buy the mug because you know, I would put a bid in on it. So hang on a minute, let me put my jacket on. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, when the sun goes down here in Colorado, the temperature changes, but you know, in the summer, that makes it really nice for the temperature to change as soon as the sun goes down. So yes, I love this. What else? Oh, these are gonna be for the booth. Um, these are new, you guys, these are new. Hang on. I didn't unwrap everything and set it out because I'm putting everything right back. Except for these. These are going to the booth. <laughs> okay. So these are new, but they were only $1.99. They're like Balinese or Siamese little dancers doing, um, you know, some kind of mythological dance or whatever. All their fingers are intact. They're ceramic. So for $1.99 each, the only reason I bought them is because now I have showcases and I think that I need to put some newer items in there as well and just interesting items. I need to think outside of what of just what I love because I have to pay the rent. This is not like eBay where if I don't sell it, I don't owe eBay anything, right? I owe rent whether anything sells or not out of those cases. So I'm going to have a little bit different MO a little bit different method of operation, right? So I don't care if I have to sell these for like, you know, $5 a piece, whatever, things like that, that will go in and out, that will add up. And by the end of the month, I've got my rent, right? At least my rent. So, but these are adorable. I'm, I'm gonna price them more than five though, especially since, since there's a pair. I cannot believe the fingers aren't broken, seriously. So, let me wrap these back up. I'll edit some of these seconds out, okay? You guys don't have to listen to all this paper wrapping. Let's get the big thing out of the way. You guys saw it because I couldn't resist giving a preview of this on Instagram. And this will be in George's video too. But I was looking at another Hager planter and kind of going, well, it's so plain. Like the plain ones don't really sell for that much. You have to have a hardcore Hager collector. So I put it down and I traded it for this. <laughs> yes. So this was $12.99. This is gorgeous. Probably new. Messy Pontel. Some people on eBay are calling this Murano. I don't know. It's, who knows? Murano style, definitely. It does have the adventuring. Is that what you call that? The gold flex. It's a red to orange ombre, depending on the light, but it does seem darker in certain areas. What is that, about 14 inches? So $12.99 seemed fine. I think probably $60 to $80 would be maybe a little more. I don't know. This is not a, like a vintage Murano piece, but it is cool. And I see them on eBay from anywhere from, well, let's just say average 80. So listed. There are some souls, but I can't remember. But we're not going to leave something like this behind, right? Someone's going to love this. Okay, let me put it back where it's safe. That's going on eBay. And George let me have this little ceramic Christmas tree. It works. It's got one little doink, which I'm going to fix. And it's got a couple of these things missing. Um, these are still all the rage. 
some are vintage and some are made new but it's a vintage concept like a vintage trend these little things come out there's a couple missing but I've got two more of these that I bought throughout the year um, they're bigger and they needed some more replacement little they're not really lights but that's you call them replacement lights because they glow when the light turns on so if you're looking them up to buy some you would say you know ceramic Christmas tree replacement lights <clears throat> and um, you're probably going to get this too so I bought a pack of 50 assorted off of eBay and I got them in last week to fix up my other trees and I'll do this one too and it's cute I bought an assortment so there's some doves there's some stars you know there's some flowers it's not just all you know just little ball stick in so so even this size is probably 25 to almost $30 even this size so and the bigger ones I have are probably looking more like 60 to 80 so I'm pretty excited but it is time it's a couple weeks past time to get these out you can probably leave these listed all year long probably right I bought two Fitz and Floyd pieces only because it's the older Fitz and Floyd let me find the other one so I bought this with the little spaghetti grass. It is missing the spoon, but because it's a little older, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You're going to have to trust me. Um, George told me the date on it. Something in the 70s. I can't read. I'd have to look up the Roman numerals. I don't know that kind of stuff by heart. Um, and this one we peeled back, and this is an older one too. The little pig creamer. So otherwise, I'm really picky with Fitz and Floyd because some of it has good resale value and some of it womp womp, you know? But I think these will do fine. Oh, I don't want to talk about these yet. This is my next craze. I don't want to talk about those yet, you guys. It's so funny, but the law of attraction has kicked in again. I picked something, another new thing, a little phase I'm going to go through of something I want to um, decorate with for a little while collect a few cool pieces sell some of it and decorate with and lo and behold just it's so crazy all of a sudden it's every thrift store I go to like I'm noticing it now or whatever and George found me a couple pieces but you guys I'm gonna be a brat and I don't want to talk about it yet can I save that for a couple of weeks till I get it all rounded up okay <laughs> but I found this cool ornament this can be any time of year and it just really looked interesting as I studied it. All the pieces are there and it's signed Rossi, R-O-S-S-I, copyright. It's in there. This is a chef with some acronyms. You can't really, it's androgynous, so it could be girl or boy. Um, and her little metal, or it's metal. Her little metal ornaments sell pretty well. Some of them, you know, let's just say an average of $20. It's up or down depending on what it is. So for $1.99, I'm going to make sure someone, um, I'm going to make sure this one gets a new home. So it's super cute. R-O-S-S-I. I had not heard of it yet. It almost looks homemade with like, this is like fishing, fishing gear here. So, but it's an official kind of company. So super cute. And some more Raku, and I find a lot of this by this artist, this Jay Diller. This is a little fetish bear. So, super cute. I'm going to put it over there with some more pieces that I have by this artist, some plates across. Um, super cute. I just like it. She does Raku, she or he. And I'm wondering, George said, they must be local if you're finding so much. But I, I remember looking them up and they weren't local, but something's going on. Something, because I just find a lot of it. Okay, we're not going to share that stuff yet. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so, <laughs> this was a cool place. George said he almost bought it. I'm like, why the heck didn't you? But it's signed in 1998 Alaska. It might be part of that... Um, Sasha B group or with Michael Adams that whole deal it might be part of that when I go to Google it we'll find out it was a dollar fifty nine this signed on the back it's got some kind of dichroic finish it seems to be glass it's so hard for me to tell sometimes whether something is a fine porcelain with an, uh, a glass like enamel finish or if it's all glass anyways it's fabulous 
I hope my phone is focusing on this. It's fabulous. That one's going to be hard to sell, but we'll see how much it's worth and see if this person, I can't read the writing. Um, let me work with that later when I have more time, when I'm not filming. I'll get back to you guys or it'll show up on, um, you know, either on the sold video or um, it'll show up either on the sold video or on my listings. I always say you can follow my store. I follow people's stores. I look at what they're listing, what they're calling it, um, how much they're pricing it, you know, how they're handling it. I look at their solds. Quite a few people, uh, quite a few. As a matter of fact, I think if I want to add somebody new, I got to kick someone else off <laughs> because yeah, people that I trust, people that I know. $1.99 for two. These always sell. These little top mosaic tiled trinket dishes and whatnot. They always eventually sell. They don't even have to be any kind of epic pattern for me to pick them up if they're cheap enough. They just always eventually sell. Oh, another brass item. This was like $1.99. I've got two smaller ones from last, like a month and a half ago. So that'll go over there with the brass pile that I'm waiting to decide. Booth, eBay, live sale. Because I've almost been talked into trying my hand at a live sale. We'll see. Okay. Oh, some cool mugs. Now these, um, $1.59 a piece. I was looking for smiley mugs, of course. And I thought I'd give these a try, these little gun handle mugs um, for the booth. Again, my thinking is I need some in and out items, some cheap in and out items to help rack up. It'll add up by the end of the month to pay that $80 per case, right? You guys, I might have already shown these. Oh, there's some things inside. Wait a minute, let me see. Oh, a little... Like, we were perplexed and we didn't bother to peel off the label because it was cheap enough, so I just bought it. Um, but a little origami um, ceramic piece, so probably it's going to say made in Japan or something, or it could have been made yesterday because origami is kind of having, that little hobby's kind of having a revival as well. So, I don't know, but I just know something like this, get it. But these little tin, this is a little round tin box. I don't know if this one was tin too. Oh, there's some, <coughs> hang on, I put some things in here for safekeeping. This one's covered in velvet, but I'm going to come up close. It's got long glass beads. You know what these look like? Is that glass? You know those imported bracelets from India? That's what these little pieces look like. I'm actually going to stand up to make sure you guys can see this. Hang on. That's what these look like. I hope my phone's focusing. Yes. So this might have been a home project or at one of those import stores with all the India stuff. But that's the, it looks like that jewelry pieces on those bracelets. All broken up. And see how they're curved, especially on this one. Even on the square one, that's straight, they're curved. So it looks like this bracelet, either the components or they broke them up. So it's hard to say if it was intentional, like made for mass, like mass produced or a home project it's hard to say they're adorable though what were they $1.99 a piece super cute not quite sure some of this stuff I'm not quite sure where things are gonna go okay where I'm what platform I'm gonna sell things at. I'm not quite sure on everything yet oh except this one I am I am this is the same thing how much was she $1.59 this is new, just a piece of resin, a sugar skull lady in an Vic, old Victorian dress. Nothing's broken on her, thank goodness. So this is something that I'm gonna also put in the booth that, you know, a good price in and out. It can't just be a bunch of vintage stuff. I don't feel like, um, you know, until I learn my place, get my footing and fully understand the market in that building, I'm going to be throwing lots of noodles at the wall, okay, because <laughs> I want that rent pay. But I also don't want my showcases to be like too hodgepodge crazy looking either. I mean, I'm aware, okay. Oh, yes. I can't remember whose this was, you guys, but a really nicely done vintage, most likely Japan or something. I can't remember. It was $1.49. George didn't want it, so super cute i hope that's focusing because i can't see i'm just filming with my phone down here 
super cute little baby tiger. His eyes are great. Something I always look for in the figurines. I want good looking eyes too. I want some definition. Okay, so we did well on that one. This is slightly vintage. The vintage tag, foil tag sticker is all like been cleaned off. So it's just a piece of silver, but I'll figure it out. It has a shape to it. So I might be able to identify by that shape. But a nice little turtle ashtray, ceramic turtle ashtray, um, which we will now also mark it as what? Trinket dish, makeup brush holder, art brush holder, whatever, candy dish, right? This one only has one um, smoking whatever divot, so that's cool. Nicely done, nice glaze, good price, right? $1.59, good price. Uh, what I pulled out of that box that I picked up, these were $1.29, $1.29. A little inky dinky brass horse. Hopefully this will be my first piece of brass sold because like I said, I know brass is having a revival, but I think it's just the fashion forward people, so to speak, you know, that, and then it, it'll take a while. It's just like I've explained with clothing and then it'll take a while for for enough people to see the cool Instagram pictures of, the, of their home or Pinterest or whatever and for other people to be like oh I'm gonna I wanna get me some vintage brass too so I'm not giving up on it by any means I'm still buying it if it's cheap I kind of know how trends roll and this one is pewter with those etched edges that make it shiny and because it was an elephant with the trunk up I said yes. I'll wrap all this stuff back up later. One more piece in here. I don't even remember. This was just a couple days ago. I was having so much fun. It was great. Yes, my thrift stores were good. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know if this is vintage. Hang on. But it's cool. It's got a little wow factor. Oh, mud pie. Mud pie is new, but it has a little bit of a... Mm, okay kind of like what happened with Ray Dunn. Mud Pie's kind of got a little bit of clout, okay? A little bit of decorating street cred, shall we say. So some of their mugs and things like that go for a little more. So although this is new, it was $1.59, it's a bank, and look how cute, right? So, Mud Pie. I'll try, again, I'm not, I have no clue if my phone is focusing when I come in like this because I can't see. So I apologize for that, but I wanted to get this out. I've already had a couple people DM me and say, Yvonne, we want to see the footage of you and George. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I only have 10 minutes. And one of them actually suggested wrapping it. I'm like, that's exactly what I'll do. Wrap it around the hall. That's exactly. What's in here? Oh, oh, a kar karak, if I'm saying it right. Here. You see a lot of people buy these Karak. Um, they're pretty tricky. This one was 99 cents. I don't know why they got to put it over the label, but I'll be careful to get the price tag off without getting the Karak, if I'm saying it right, label off. This one, no scratches, thank goodness. And it's the Roadrunner, which seems to be pretty popular. I have to pass up a lot of them because they just, they're just too scratched. This one has a good gold metallic inlay in there, and it's that little Roadrunner guy. I had it wrapped in this coat collar. They only wanted $3.99. Um, I'm guessing some kind of mink. Wow, this is, you know, sometimes I'm on the fence on this kind of stuff. It's iffy. In one hand, the deed's already been done, right? But then on the other hand, when we parade around with things like this or display like animals on the wall, George and I talked about this too, um, then that kind of like influences other people like, oh, that's cool. I want to do it too. So it's just such a hard call. I mean, on one hand, oh, you guys, you guys, let's not open up Pandora's box, but I think a lot of you understand the dilemma, the, the dichotomy here. But there's also no sense in something this beautiful just 
end up going in the landfill. It's such a hard call. I bought it. So we did that. I kind of feel the same way about alcohol products too. Some on some days I just am not in the mood to um sell them and like promote anything. I think this is somewhat new. It's like a pear, but it's half wood, half wrapped in metal. I'm almost sure you see these in the you know imports, probably from age um India or Pakistan, something like that. And um I don't know, but it's just cute. A dollar twenty-nine is usually like Pakistan or India some older brass is Taiwan too though oh, but this was a good deal 249 so I'm on it right that's a good deal nice detail on this one decent size not too heavy to ship give it a nice fair price this will probably be one of the first to sell Again, I'm not giving up on the brass because I know it's gonna the trend is gonna pick up a little bit before it dies back down. This is a cool mug. What is this a this is another one of those? Our name is Mud. And this is a collab. I can't remember. Something Varney. I can't remember now. Um, goodbye. Not having to work is priceless. Retired, not expired. Still new. I paid 99 cents. That's just kind of cool. And this is a current trend this company so so that kind of stuff is a sellable and a nice piece of art glass this was $4.99 it's pretty dirty I don't know whose it is yet but it's beautiful not too scratched up at all I like the little um, you know Dr. Seuss curly Q on there <laughs> so that's a nice piece this, it's just blue ombre I don't see any other colors in there just like a blue ombre I don't see a signature so I'll find out whose it is but nice and heavy really pretty five dollars George filmed me filmed about this mug because we were talking about mug life still being valid because a lot of people make fun of new resellers that want to get their feet wet by selling mugs and that's just not cool just because they've moved on past you know t-shirts and mugs you know a lot of, it's so common for us to start with that things around our house t-shirts mugs you know cheap entry so but mug life is still valid I've sold some really nice mugs um, Illy mugs $60 Deneen Pottery Death Wish Coffee collab remember that one 12 14 months ago like 120 150 Anyways, I could, I could go round up all those pictures for the naysayers of mug life. And if it makes somebody happy, it makes them happy. Anyways, you learn to look for unique and quality. This, not my groove at all, these flowers, but the quality was there and it is an anthropology collab. So anthropology, besides clothing, has a good following for their little, the home goods that they pick out, that they choose to sell. So I can't remember the name on that. Starla Hoffman, Huffman. Anyways, this is sold at Anthropology. So that's why we're going to give that one a chance. Oh, just a little piece of art glass. I'll probably just um, stick this in the showcase. Just a little piece of art glass with fishies inside of it. Um, they might have been applied. They're not cased in there, but it's cute, right? So, I'm probably just throw that in the booth, which I'm going to tomorrow after I get done with shipping, after I'm done with Lin moderating Lindy Glenn, my girl Lindy, you guys know her and love her too, right? Um, her Monday motivation, one o'clock my time mountain, two o'clock central. I do that every Monday. So hopefully we'll see Lindy tomorrow. I've only talked to her once this week, so. I think that was about it, you guys. Um, I think that was about it. There might be a couple of pieces upstairs um, that I like big vases or something that I'm going to take to the showcases. So it was a great time. And George got some good things too, like I said. So, all right, you guys. I'm going to get this cleaned up. 
edit this so I can get it out to you guys, okay? <laughs> Those of you that are like, Yvonne, where is it? <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. All right, you guys, bye-bye.